Hi everyone, so I'm back with another video and I'm wearing the same thing that I wore in my last video, but who cares? <laughs> this is like my time to film a few videos, so I'm going to take full advantage of that time. So my next video, or this video that I want to talk about is this app that has been around for a while and it's called Makari. And I have been doing this app since I want to say May. So the first thing I posted was a book on the app and I posted it May 6th, 2018. So I have been doing this app for a couple months now and let me just tell you, this is an actual side gig for moms like that stay at home and want to make a little extra money for their families. And I haven't made like a ton, but it has been enough to be able to like put gas in our car every once in a while or to buy lunch like if we're out and we wanted like in and out or something to buy that every once in a while and I don't know it's just been a really blessing just a little background story I did it works for six months it was a mistake do not get into MLMs that's just my personal belief if you're in one then you might learn the hard way or you might be successful but I think that that success is kind of misleading to the people who work under you because in order to make any money in MLMs you have to recruit people and I'm not saying that to be rude but that is a fact that you have to recruit people and I just felt the whole other time when I was doing it it was just like this vicious, vicious cycle of like I'm not making any money I'm only spending money and this app only takes me like I want to say 20 minutes in my day and just real quick as you know if you're familiar with my channel you know that I'm a Bible believing Christian and I believe in Jesus Christ and his salvation and his grace and that he died on the cross for my sins rose again in three days and he was resurrected and he now sits at the right hand of the Father and by his grace we can receive salvation so I wanted to read Proverbs 31 and by Titus chapter 2 we know that women are called to be workers at home um, that is very controversial to say <laughs> but that's what the Bible says and that's what I believe because that's this is the living Word of God she does so she's a virtuous wife her value, her worth is far above rubies. The heart of her husband safely trusts her. She so he will have no lack of gain. She does him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeks wool and flax and she willingly works with her hands. She is like um so it goes on and she provides food for her household. So she's at work with her home. Um she considers a field and buys it from her profits. She plants a vineyard. She girds herself with strength and strengthens her arms, and she perceives that her merchandise is good, and her lamp does not go out by night. Sorry, I skipped a little bit right in that chunk, but I highly encourage you to read Proverbs 31. It says that she sells. I'm trying to find the part. Oh, she makes linen garments. This is verse 24. She makes linen garments and sells them. So I feel like Makari is kind of like me selling clothing. So it reminded me of the virtuous life in Proverbs 31. I sort of just read chunks and bits of that of verses 10 through 24. If you haven't read Proverbs 31, I highly encourage you to read that book, uh, that chapter. But more about the app, that's just like where I'm coming from this biblically because as a Christian I'm trying to look at everything through the lens of Christ and by His Holy Spirit, by like a renew, renewed heart because the old man has pass away and now I am a new creation in Jesus. Just to give you proof that this is actually like a thing, that this actually works, I'm just going to give you my stats from the actual app. So I've sold 25 items so far. There are three items in process. So once those items are done being processed, I will have sold 28 items. I know that this amount doesn't sound like a lot, but from being a homemaker and making zero dollars to making a little extra money. I have made $305.10 and I have $33.30 in process. So the way this app works is you hit the sell button, you take pictures of what you wanna sell. I post things on there like mostly clothing, shoes I don't wear, just old stuff that has been sitting in my closet that looks like new and looks really good, but 
I don't use it anymore and I'm trying to declutter so why am I keeping those things around when I could sell them on this app and make an extra few bucks from it. And just to give you an idea of the stuff that I have sold, I've sold a L'Oreal Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, Apple Earpods for iPhone 8, um, a few shirts like an Adidas shirt, an American Eagle shirt, this shirt from a local boutique, my Insanity Max 30 that I never use. Yeah, I've sold like Lulu Row leggings on here, a Hollister top, a camo crop top that I would wear with high-waisted um, skirts to make it more modest, but it's just stuff like that and just stuff that I don't use. I really suggest doing this app. The only thing, the only cost you could say for this app is you have to buy, well, what I did was I went on Amazon and I bought a set of 100, 100 pack of Mylar bags and you can get, not Mylar, why did I say Mylar, but poly, mail, poly mailers bags and then I got mine for $13 and they are cheaper if you get like plain white ones, but I got purple ones and then I got some with like a floral print. But that's just, that was like extra, but you can get plain white ones and you can get like a pack of a hundred for like ten, nine dollars. My favorite size, the most size that I use for my items is 10 by 13, but I did get three different sizes. I got like a 9 by 5, a 10 by 13, and a 14 by 19. Um, I wish I got a little bit of a bigger size than the 14 by 19 but I, I hardly use the 14 by 19 or the 5 by my by the 5 by 9 I mostly use the 10 by 13 I put my clothes in the my in the poly mailers and sometimes I will put um, well actually each time I put a thank you card and I write out a Bible verse you know I say have a blessed day thank you for your order to kind of thing and then I just take them to my local mail plus like store like there's different locations where you can drop off like you can go to ups a mail plus the regular usps store um but i just go to the one that's closest to me i drop it off and then that's the end of that oh also you have to print out like once you make a sale to your email get sent like congratulations you've made a sale print your mailing slip you print it out you cut it and then you tape it on your package and that's it and you take it to the Mail Plus store or whatever store you're using and they will ship it out for you and then you press you press like on the app I've shipped the item the people who buy your stuff they pay for shipping or you can pay for the shipping I always suggest that you have the people who buy it pay for the shipping because I, I one time I did that and I had to pay like extra for shipping when it would have been less on the app so I suggest that you just have them pay for shipping usually it's it's fine but I guess it's like a personal preference, but I just find it easier that they do, so I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, that's basically it on the app. Um, I probably post one item a day, just so I can do it slowly and I'm not overwhelming myself with posting a bunch in one day. Or you can post like two items in a week, or just whatever is laying around your house that you don't use, that you want to sell, basically. That is it. You can sell so much on this app, that is what I like about it, you can sell household items, a mugs, I find like decorations, just a bunch of stuff, but I find that clothes sell the best on here and you want to make sure that your pictures are nice, it has natural lighting and sometimes I will like model the shirt like using a timer on my camera and then I will crop out my face so people don't see my face and then I will post it and that's basically it. It's allowing me to declutter and make a little bit of side money. So if you want to do this, I would suggest you looking up reviews on the app. That's what I did first. And then making like a final decision, praying about it, whatever. I recommend this app. I've had no problems with it whatsoever. So yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next one. Okay, bye.